Harry Littman now, former U.S. Attorney and Deputy Assistant Attorney General under President Clinton. Sir, thank you. Your first impressions. Well, I have to echo what Eamon said, it, that you had the sense, first of all, that video presentation, I thought, was really very effective, the visceral terror that it captured. And although it seemed to just be a natural recitation of events, it was really expertly put together to emphasize the connection between what Trump said and the conduct of the mob, and really to bring home the, the abject terror of the day. You could, it wasn't, didn't seem at all overly dramatic after seeing it that um, Raskin would say, you know, people were calling to say goodbye and feared for their lives, and indeed many people died. It is true, we're told, that the president's, former president's team then thought, we've got to switch our tactics and somehow bring down the temperature. And what followed was a fairly perplexing and not very strong, I have to say, uh, argument that was long on sort of homilies, but weak on substance. You saw, however, the bottom line, which is one and only one fewer Republican, John Cassidy, as Eamon mentioned, actually changed his vote, and there were still 44 uh, Republicans to vote to actually close down the trial, notwithstanding what seemed a pretty lopsided presentation. Among other things, the House managers really had the time to coordinate, have very good dynamics in the different uh, presenters. Mm. And the Trump uh, lawyers who have just come to the job in the last few days seemed much more kind of from the hip, disjointed, as the word you've heard, and somewhat um, sentimental, but not very substantive. Yeah. Harry, moving forward, the House yeah. managers, or the prosecutors, if you will, have the ability to ask for witnesses if they want. Should they? How would that impact the trial for both sides? You know, witnesses are always really vivid and important evidence. I can think in particular, judging from this presentation, of a couple points where witnesses would be brutally effective. For example, we're told that there were eyewitnesses to then-President Trump uh, reacting to the televised mayhem with delight. That would be very strong evidence uh, and rebut the notion that he was somehow aghast. But I think the trend is toward no witnesses. Each side has different reasons. I think the Republicans don't want to hammer home the sort of vivid uh, behavior and um, uh, really uh, emotional instigation of the president. And the Democrats, for their part, I think are wary of going too long uh, and keeping mm. the new president from uh, initiating his agenda. So it could still happen, but as of now, it seems most likely that the 16 hours of each side, if they're all taken up, will right. consist just of argument. Lawyers getting up and maybe saying, this witness said that, that newspaper article said this, right. but not putting people on the stand. That looks to be strongly where things are trending. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.